ever wondered why Florida, a state known for its alligators, manatees, and panthers, is now grappling with a baboon problem? It's an unlikely dilemma, yet an alarming reality. Florida's baboon problem is a tale that seems straight out of a Hollywood movie. The Sunshine State, known for its diverse and unique ecosystem, is now home to troops of baboons, creatures native to Africa and Arabia. But how did this come about? The answer lies in the strange and unpredictable world of exotic pet trading. Baboons, known for their intelligence and adaptability, have been brought into Florida as pets. However, these exotic animals are not meant to be confined within homes. They are wild creatures, requiring vast spaces to roam and complex social structures for their well-being. When these pets escape or are released into the wild by overwhelmed owners, they find their way into Florida's wilderness. Here, they thrive and multiply, leading to an unexpected and growing baboon population. The problem? Baboons are not native to Florida. Their presence disrupts the delicate balance of the local ecosystem and poses a threat to indigenous species. The state authorities, along with wildlife conservationists, are tackling this issue head on. They are implementing measures from stricter regulations on exotic pet trading to establishing specialized response teams that humanely capture and relocate these baboons. One such solution has been the creation of sanctuaries where these baboons can live out their lives in a controlled environment that mimics their natural habitat. These sanctuaries also serve an educational purpose, raising awareness about the dangers and ethical issues surrounding the exotic pet trade. Another measure involves using radio collars to track the movement of these baboons, which enables wildlife teams to monitor their populations and intervene when necessary. This technology, coupled with the tireless work of wildlife conservationists, is pivotal in managing this unusual problem. To sum up, Florida's baboon problem, a byproduct of the exotic pet trade, is a pressing issue that disrupts the state's ecosystem. Solutions are in place, including stricter regulations, specialized response teams, sanctuaries, and tracking technology. Through these efforts, Florida aims to control this problem, ensuring the protection of its unique and diverse wildlife. So the next time you think about Florida's wildlife, remember it's a complex web of native and non-native species, a delicate balance that must be preserved for future generations. And remember, every creature belongs in its natural habitat, not within the confines of a home as an exotic pet. It's a lesson we must all learn and respect to preserve the world's biodiversity.